children today we are starting a new chapter chapter 2 shapes and angles this chapter is related to geometry now you might be thinking what is geometry geometry is actually a branch of mathematics which deals with shapes and their properties so let's learn about the first basic thing in geometry and that is a point what is a point a point is an exact position or location on a plane surface it has no dimensions which means it has no length breadth or height fine a point is actually represented or denoted by a capital letter how do we mark a point a point is marked with a dot now see if i mark two dots here and i want to give them names so that they have their own identity so i need to use capital letters let's name it as point b and let's name this point as point z clear everybody now my observation only you can tell that man yes you were right it has no length breadth or any kind of thickness so beta what is a point a point is an exact position or a location is it clear now let me tell you practically if you want an example of a point the tip of a compass the tip of your pen or pencil is actually an example of a point clear shall we move to the next figure and that is a line what is a line a line is a group of points on a straight path either this way sleeping or standing like this so let's draw two points here point a and let's say that it is point s and if i join these two points what do i get what do i get everybody i get line as what is it it is line as now see beta how do we represent a line see it becomes quite tedious to write the word line as again and again so we represent it with the help of a symbol what do we do i write these two points together like this and over that i will draw the symbol of line this is what this is the symbol of line suppose i take one more example and in that there are let's say four points let's join them everybody now we name these points this is x this is let's say a this is let's not write a the a point we have already taken here this is b this is let's say t and this is v now you might be thinking ma'am this line has got more than two points a line actually is a group of points which lie on a straight path the number could be any it could be any number of points on a line fine a line can be extended indefinitely on both sides why are they saying so beta the reason is do you see the arrows here what does it show it shows that they can be extended in both the directions in finitely as much as you want and that is why a line does not have a fixed length you cannot say that the length of line as is let's say 14 cm that's not possible it because a line can be extended as 
as much as we want in both the directions. That is why it does not have fixed length. Is it clear to everybody? And if I want to write the name of this line, how will I write? Look at the extreme points. It's x and this is v. So, write the extreme points together like this and draw the symbol of a line. You can write point B and then you can write X. Here you can write first S and then A. So whichever point you write first, it hardly matters. Now, next is ray. What is a ray? A ray is actually a part of a line that has one end point and the other side can be extended infinitely or indefinitely. That means as much as you want. Fine. So, first thing I said, it is a part of a line. Just observe this bit up. If I take this part of the line, then this point T becomes the end point or the point of origin you can say. And the other side which is moving from point V can be extended endlessly. That means as much as we want. So if I want to draw a ray here, how will I draw? I take first the point of origin. Let's name it as P. And take one more point, this is point Q, and join them. See, I have put the arrow only on one side. That means this is the point of origin or you can say this is the end point. And this is the side which can be extended endlessly. But how do we represent a ray with a symbol? So again you write the points together like this. First we write the end point or the point of origin and then the other point on that side, on which side the ray can be extended. And draw the symbol of ray like this. So what does that show? That P is the point of origin and this side can be extended endlessly. Again, remember one thing. The figures which can be extended endlessly, they do not have a fixed length. That means a line or it is a ray. Both of them do not have a fixed length. Let's learn about the next figure which is a line segment. A line segment is actually the shortest path between any two points. Suppose I mark two points here. This and this. Let's name them. This is Z and this is C. Fine. So, you might join these points this way. You might join these points this way. But do you feel that this is the shortest path? No. The shortest path is the one which is straight. Which is straight. How? Straight away join these two points. So what is a line segment? A line segment is actually the shortest distance between any two points. This figure line segment is also a part of a line. How did you draw the line? Do you remember? You drew it this way and there were two points. A and B. Let's say A and B. So if I remove the arrows, what do I see? I see a line segment like this or you can hide it. So the shortest distance between these two points is what better? It is a line segment. A line segment has got a fixed length. You can 
and measure the length of a line segment with a measuring tape, with a ruler or a measuring rod. So, one can draw a line segment with a given length. In the beginning only I told you that a point has no dimensions. But if I talk about line, ray or a line segment, all these three figures, they are one dimensional only. How are they one dimensional? Because they have a length. Is it clear everybody? So, after this, we are now going to differentiate between a line a line segment and a ray. Children, we are very well aware of the meaning of a line, a line segment and a ray. Now let's differentiate between these three. What are the differences between them? So we'll begin with line. We state that it does not have end points. Now listen beta. This is the figure, this is the figure line. It is line AB. Now do you see any end points beyond which it cannot be extended? No. That is why we say it does not have end points. Ray. It has one end point. So look at the figure ray OP. What do we observe? That it has got one end point and this side can be extended endlessly. So that is why we have written it has one end point. Look at this line segment X1. What do you observe? There are two end points. So that's why we have written that a line segment has two end points. Now the second point of difference is it can be extended on both the sides. What do we observe? In this line AB, what do we see? What do we observe? That this line AB can be extended in both the directions. That means on both the sides. A ray can be extended in one side. That's why we have written it can be extended on one side. This is fixed. It's the end point or you can say the point of origin. But this side can be extended endlessly. A line segment cannot be extended beyond its two end points. So this is the limit. Here point X and Y say, say that the distance between these two would be the fixed length of this line segment. You cannot extend it beyond these two end points. Third point proves the above two only that a line does not have a fixed length. Why does it have a fixed length? Because it has no end points. It can be extended endlessly. Ray can be extended in one direction but we cannot say that it has a fixed length. Again, it does not have a fixed length. Why? Because we can extend it as much as we want on one side. And a line segment has a fixed length. Its length is fixed. If I ask you to draw a line segment with length 5 cm, so you will have to draw it with 5 cm length only. If you draw it beyond that means it's wrong. It has a fixed length. It is represented by this symbol. A line is represented by this symbol. A sleeping line like this and two arrows on the side. For example, if I want to represent this line AB, how will I write? I write like this. And a ray is represented with this symbol. If I want to write ray OP, how will I write? I write the points OP and over it I draw a I draw the symbol. 
angle of ray. How can I represent line segment XY? So I write XY and over it I will draw the symbol of a line segment and this is the symbol of line segment. I hope you all have understood the meaning as well as the differences between these three. Thank you.